In Chapter 6, Section 1, we study average value. If you think about our basic knowledge of math, to find the average of a set of n numbers, we would add up all the values of those numbers and divide by the number of numbers we used, n. Finding the definite integral as an average follows a similar basic principle and helps us find the average value for a function that is continuously varying. This means that we can use integrals to find the average value of a function that is always changing on an interval. If you think back to chapter 5, we learned about the fundamental theorem of calculus, which told us that if we integrate a rate from a to b, it's the original function at b minus the original function at a. If we divide both sides by the length of the interval, which would be 1 over b minus a, we get 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f prime of x dx equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Notice that what we have on the right is what we call the average rate of change of a function, something we learned about in chapter 1. On the left, now that we have something represented by an area, is what we call the average value. The average value of a function has a basic form. The integral from a to b of any function you want to integrate represents area, and we're going to divide by the length of that area. Remember, a is our initial value, b is our final value, and f of x dx is the function that we're integrating. It's our rate of change function. Let's take a closer look. So our integral represents the total area under a curve over an interval from a to b. When we multiply by the length of that interval, that's dividing it, therefore giving us an average. So that gives us the average value of that integral. Let's look at some examples to see how this works. So let's say that our function f of x is negative x squared plus 4x, and we want to find the average value of the function between x equals 0 and x equals 2. When we set up our integral, it'll look like this. We have the integral from 0 to 2 of our f of x, and in the front, we're multiplying by 1 over b minus a. That's what gives us the average value. So the first step is to calculate just the integral. When we calculate the integral from 0 to 2 of negative x squared plus 4x dx, that gives us an area under the curve of 5.33. This is something that we've done before, finding basic areas under the curve. But now, to get the average value, we need to multiply that area by 1 over 2 minus 0, which is the length of the curve. So the average value will be 1 over 2 minus 0 times the area under the curve, which gives us an average value of 2.67. That's our final answer for average value. Let's see what this looks like graphically. If you were to draw this function, you would get a picture that looks like this. The average value is going to be represented by a rectangle, where the width of that rectangle is the length of the curve, and the height is the average value of the function. Notice that the area of our rectangle would be 2 times 2.67. Now what that tells us is that the area of this rectangle is 5.33, which is the same as the exact area under the curve. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have the function f of x equals x plus 3 squared minus 9 and we want to find the average value for the function between x equals negative 3 and x equals 1. The first step is to set up our basic integral for average values, which looks like this. So we have 1 divided by 1 minus negative 3, be careful with your negative numbers, times the area under the curve from negative 3 to 1. Again, the first step is to calculate the integral area. So when you plug this into your calculator, you'll get that the area under the curve from negative 3 to 1 is negative 14.67. Remember, 
Negative areas just means that there's more area under the curve than over. Now, once we have the area under the curve, we want to multiply by 1 over the length of the curve to get the average value. So when we multiply, we're going to multiply by 1 divided by 1 minus negative 3. Notice that the minuses will cancel and you're multiplying by 1 fourth. When you multiply these two numbers together, you'll get an average value of negative 3.67. This is how we'll calculate average values. Feel free to check out some more examples if you'd like to see other ways we can apply this in the next set of videos.